Hey everyone, welcome back. But if you're new here, I'm Chloe. So I still have a stupid annoying sty, but I am just someone who does not feel as confident and comfortable going out in public without my makeup done, so I still like to wear a little makeup. I am just someone who does not feel as confident going out into the world without my makeup done. Therefore, I always like to do something even when I have a sty. Disclaimer, you are absolutely not supposed to wear makeup when you have a sty. You should not if you don't have to. But if you're like me and you just like wearing makeup every day and that's how you feel you're most confident and don't want to go without makeup when you have a sty, I'm going to show you how you can work around it. Truth be told, I'll be putting on a full fucking face when I have a sty. Not what you're supposed to do, but I do it. A sty is basically when the oil glands and the pores along your lash line get clogged. There might be makeup, dirt and debris, buildup, whatever. All of those things can cause a sty. Some people's are definitely worse than other people's. Some people's get like a really, really large bulge. I'm very grateful that when I do get them, they aren't too bad. If I come in a little bit closer here, you can see this small, small bump and if anything, you probably notice the redness a little bit more on the center of this eye. And I actually think I have one coming in on the corner of this eye, so I'm basically a total wreck. Both on my lower lash line. I've basically had a sty on one of my eyes for the last week or so because... I've not been doing what you're supposed to be doing in not wearing makeup and definitely applying makeup directly over it. So my makeup at this point has probably been, so at this point I've probably contaminated some of my makeup products and that is causing me to get new ones and I'm passing it from eye to eye. Don't do that. It's like the worst news on earth, but when you get a sty, you're supposed to throw out all your eye makeup that would be like closely touching that or disinfecting and cleaning your makeup brushes if you use makeup brushes around. Don't be like me. Do as I say, not as I do. Thank you. But today, I do not have a lot going on and I'm over these stupid styes. So I am gonna keep the makeup really low key, super simple to not cause another flare up with it. Now that we have all that information, let's just get into it. I'm going to start off by applying some sunscreen to my whole face. I do this every, every day. When I do have a sty, I just won't bring it down to my eyelids and my under eyes. Therefore, I'm not touching and spreading the little bit of bacteria around. For the most part, my face makeup I can do normally because that is obviously not close to your eyes. It's really the eye makeup that is the not good part to do. I'm such a concealer girl, I'm not really somebody who survives without it to be honest. But unfortunately both the styes are on my lower lash line, so this part is definitely not easy. I think the main focus while doing your makeup at all while you have a sty is just not touching your makeup to the sty. Whatever you do, don't touch it. So I'm going to take the concealer I want to use, which is my ColourPop Pretty Fresh one, load up on the brush, and just put a little bit on your finger. And then just tap it in with my finger. And I'm making sure not to get too close to my lash line. Literally see what a big difference that made. And I really put barely any on just to give a little coverage right in the front of my dark circles. I have no concealer going over the sty or next to my lash line. But I have no concealer going over the sty or all the way up to my lash line. I made sure to keep my distance from the lash line because again, I just I like I'm gonna emphasize this a million times you guys don't touch it just don't touch it so now that I have to do the other eye I obviously can't just take my applicator and apply on the same finger I applied with this under eye and again you're just not trying to move bacteria from eye to eye so I'm gonna take a brand new clean finger and apply concealer on a different finger than I used the first time to go under my other under eye That alone makes such a difference. One of the most important steps and the very first step you should do is to wash your hands before you get started. I, of course, already did that before I started filming. So like I said before, face makeup you can pretty much do as normal because it's not close to your eyes, so that's good. I'm obviously using my e.l.f. Halo Liquid Glow Filter because do I use anything else? 
No, no I don't. I'm just taking my big foundation brush to blend it out. So I guess the nice thing is that you can still wear face makeup, but like, not gonna lie, for me that really doesn't do a lot. I am an eye makeup girly. All the important pieces of makeup for me is the eyes. So a sty is extra bummer for me. It's also my favorite part of my makeup. So it's kind of lame. Continuing to put makeup over a sty will only prolong it. Brows is another one that you should be able to do as normal because it is not too close to the eye. Therefore, you are not spreading the bacteria around even more. On that note, I'm just gonna do my brows as normal. I'm gonna go in with a little blush on my cheeks and my nose. This is the e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade Turks and Caicos. I'm actually gonna use a little bit of the blush on my eye. I've seen girls do this when they go for that no makeup makeup look. I am just taking a fluffy brush, a little bit of blush, and I just do it in the corner, not getting close to my lash line, right in the outer corner so everything goes back and lifted. It just gives you a little something, a little warmth around your eyes. I am gonna make sure I do set this brush to the side after I'm done using it though, just so I can give it a really nice, good clean. If you are someone like me who's an eye makeup girl and it pains you a lot to not be able to wear your eye makeup as normal, I do still like to give my lashes a little bit of a curl because an eyelash curler is something that you can very easily disinfect, which is, so nice but i just feel like having nicely curled lashes still makes you feel like you have something I'd make sure to disinfect this guy with alcohol before let it dry i'm actually not going to even touch my eyelid with the eyelash curler that's the other thing that's not going to be super fun if you have a sty so i'm really kind of just half curling my lashes i'm just curling from the center out And you always wanna make sure to start on the eye that doesn't have the sty, that way you don't accidentally transfer the bacteria. You wanna take your alcohol and spray it off. This next step, I am going to do because I'm crazy and I am making the decision to do it because I want to, even though I know I shouldn't. I'm not telling anybody to do this, just if you wanna like push the boundary a little bit. I am gonna go in with a little bit of mascara, just like a light little layer. I'm taking a mascara that's old, it's almost out, that way I can just chuck it after this. Not gonna use my new and favorite mascara, that way I have to throw that one out, that's sad. No thanks. I really am only doing this because both the styles I have are on my lower lash line, not on my upper lash line. Before I feel like I can, I guess. I just feel like I'm able to get away with it a little bit easier. I'm just gonna go in and I'm pulling my lid up a little bit. That way I don't get it close to my lower lash line. And again, of course, if you have one eye that has a sty and one eye that doesn't, do the eye that does not first. Now I can just go ahead and chuck the mascara. Of course, lips you can do as normal, thank God. I'm taking my favorite NYX lip liner. You know, the one that I use in like every single one of my videos. Yeah, that one. And I'm actually gonna take my new e.l.f. lipstick in the shade Dirty Talk. And I'm putting chapstick right over that. All right, you guys, so that's really it. Look complete. I really wish so badly there was more than this that I could do, but at least now I feel a little bit more put together and confident enough to go out on the street and do the things I need to do today. Now, how to get rid of your sty. And actually, getting rid of a sty is fairly simple. It just takes a little bit of patience with it. There's a couple things you can do to help. I have found that doing a hot compress every night and every morning gets rid of it fairly, fairly quickly, like literally maybe one or two days. Another option would be using baby shampoo. I'm not really sure why baby shampoo, but I, but I know baby shampoo. Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to open up that pore and clear out the debris. So the hot compress opens up the pores to get all the bacteria out, whereas the baby shampoo would get in there and cleanse everything out. And then of course, what's gonna help speed up that process is not wearing makeup or wearing less makeup. And of course, not touching your eye. 
So I am, of course, not a doctor. Please don't hold me accountable for anything I said in this video. If you decide that you would also like to wear makeup when you have a sty, that was your decision. <laughs> I'm not trying to push anybody to wear makeup while they have a sty. This is just if you like to wear makeup when you have a sty. If you can't avoid wearing makeup when you have a sty, do that. If you can't, do a little bit. That is gonna be all for this week's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below if you have not already. And leave me a like because it really helps me out. I'll see you guys in the next one.